That second curl didn't make it, but the way the show must go on. Yeah, these are just one of those angles where it's really obvious if I start looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> that being said, let's get into it. Do I even want to struggle? through an intro welcome or welcome back guys my name is scott for those of you who are new and today we're talking about being yourself i know brand new concept uh, honestly this might be a series i don't know if it's something that i really want to commit to but i mean if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below there's like two people who comment and <laughs> i want to start a series called advice i could have used as a kid Say it with me now. Be yourself no matter what. Now before you cut off my head for saying easier said than done, Sky, I'm gonna tell you exactly why that's the wave. Well, for one, it's very obvious. When you're being yourself, especially at a young age, it is quite the spectacle you could become. I mean, just look at society right now. We're damn near carbon copies of each other. So the few of us who don't want to be like the carbon copies of everyone else, they are very, very easy targets, in which I did not realize at the time. And this really happens for like a few reasons, to be honest. For one, you become instant competition. It's the number one way to create conflict, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds dumb, but that's complete facts, especially in middle school, and here's why. Well, really, it's just based on my experience, and I've been bullied both ways, meaning I've been bullied for trying too hard to fit in and um, not being able to fit in at all. Because everybody wants to fit in. It's just, it's almost like a cult. What is it called when it's like a group thought? It's not like you as an individual thinking life has to be this way. It's just what everybody else is doing. This whole thing, this whole society thing that we got going on, going along with it. Yeah, and getting bullied from both ends of the spectrum really made me realize it's not worth it, bro. I don't know how I got bullied into being myself, essentially. I just got tired of trying to keep up with everybody's demands. Everybody couldn't be pleased. And I tried very, very hard because I'm a perfectionist, a recovering perfectionist. So I definitely tried my hardest to uh, assimilate. If I was gonna receive the bullying either way, I hope you get your facts right. You better bully me for me and not a caricature I'm trying to play. That's obviously not working. You see, what I really did was break the social construct. Back in the younger years, no one really put together that um, you didn't really have to be anybody who, who any anything that was going on, you didn't have to be a certain type of person in order to be liked, essentially. You could have been yourself from the jump, yet you wanted to be cool, you wanted to be in, you wanted to get along. And I'm gonna be honest, some children are ruthless, okay? They make it really, really hard to exist sometimes. And that was the loophole, ladies and gentlemen. If we're all just carbon copies of each other, who are we copying? Let me tell you, I was so naive and so were many others at this point in time. Like, don't feel bad because you just didn't see what was going on at the time. That position of whoever everybody else was copying was up for grabs anytime and always. You did not have to be any sort of special, any sort of nothing. You really could just do something different, be something different. And if enough kids saw that and liked that, you were the it girl, period. And honestly, I don't know how I remained this naive because there were certain hairstyles that I went in and then later noticed a bunch of girls coming in with a similar hairstyle later that week. But that's the thing in middle school and just in general, no one's gonna tell you when you've reached that girl status. A lot of the times it's assumed, but for me, had no clue. I myself not even noticed that I'd become that girl, but that pissed off somebody so bad because I took their place. And that's where the conflict comes in. Let me tell you, middle school is not the place to be jealous. We're in the sixth grade relax i think it i think middle school is like sixth to eighth sixth grade was ass seventh grade was mid and 
eighth grade. I really don't remember, to be honest. <laughs> Another reason which ties into the whole competition. It literally was about attention. Now again, being yourself, you stick out like a sore thumb and everybody notices. The teachers notice it, the students notice it, including the boy students. It becomes some unspoken competition between the girls and the guys getting each other's attention. But again, a naive Sky at this time did not have any interest in catching anybody's attention. I honestly just desired to be myself at any given time and point, but was met with a bunch of um, resistance whenever I did that, so. I felt like I definitely adjusted my personality to be digestible to others. But of course, my entire world exists in school, so of course I had no other reference that nobody else is gonna care about this except for now. And guys, I really beat myself up about being so naive as a child, like wow. I was really, really naive, but never mix that up with being not smart, cause don't get it twisted. I was a very smart kid. A lot of people saw that as hand in hand between being stupid and naive. I'm not dumb. I just don't operate like you guys. Does that make me neurodivergent? I really didn't care. That was my problem. I didn't care enough about the social stigmas about everything. Like literally, I made my own mind and had my own opinions and thoughts about things. Like you couldn't, it wasn't that I wasn't easily influenced because I was very easily influenced by my naivetivity. Naivetivity? My naivety. Being so naive to the point where I could get convinced in some sense of some topics. Now, because I would receive attention from everyone, I would assume this would make me normal at least. I personally looked at this as a person who could be easily approached by anyone. Even if I was receiving attention, it was never like the attention you would want. I would get bullied by guys too. Female students would view me getting bullied, but see it as me receiving attention. Because when I think of male attention at this naive time in my life, I'm thinking Thinking, oh, it's guys who want to hold my hands, guys who are writing me love letters. Just, just very basic middle school stuff, right? Wrong! I, <laughs> and I don't know if this is a racial thing, because I definitely went to a black and brown school. For me, I call it bullying. Like, this would have been harassment either way. It was always comments about how small my chest was, or how flat my ass was. It's like, fine, <laughs> we're 12. <laughs> Calm down. We're tweens. Relax. It was the over-sexualization of my entire being. Love. Don't be jealous. And of course, this didn't occur to me until later that I realized that this is how young boys display their feelings towards their crushes was to heinously harass them. Yeah, it's the sun. What are you gonna do about it? I'll wait. It was unhealthy then, and it's unhealthy now. Stop it. And finally, it's a choice of character, meaning when people see you being yourself, you're going by your own standards. You have your own morals and opinions and like thought processes. Not to say that you can't be influenced because I was easily influenced as a naive middle schooler, okay? Youth did me dirty by me being naive as naive as naive as I it's just something within you that makes you automatically go with your gut. A skill that people will pry out of you if they see you displaying that. For a number of reasons, really. It could be anything from disproving a narrative that is attached to someone's entire livelihood to as simple as jealousy that obviously has nothing to do with you. In conclusion, be yourself. No matter what. I can't tell you the type of time I wasted attempting to not do that. And the alternative is indoctrination at its finest. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. Please make sure to check out my other videos. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, share if you care. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.